Today we're going to be talking about angles in polygons. So similarities and differences between these figures. This is polygon, okay, versus this one that dents in. We've already, I think we've already talked about this. This is a convex polygon. This is concave. This is not a polygon. And this is also not a polygon. This one's not a polygon because of the curve. This one because pieces come inside, like segments, um, edges, sides, intersect. None of them think about it. We did already talk about what these, um, we already talked about this in a previous video. Okay, so a diagonal. A segment joining two non-consecutive vertices. So I have, there's one diagonal, two diagonal coming from this side, and then you'd have more See, am I missing? I'm missing one. So those are all of your diagonals. A diagonal that is a regular polygon, I apologize. It's a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. Now an interior angle versus an exterior angle. Each one of these is an interior angle. If I were to extend this side, this is going to be an exterior angle. Extend, and I'm going to put two arcs in there. Extend this side, exterior angle. Extend this side, exterior angle, and so on. Actually, I'm going to put, yeah, that's okay with that one. Okay, now in green, I'm going to draw the other ones. So this would also be an exterior angle, but notice how they're congruent. Extend this side, exterior angle. Extend this side, exterior angle. So notice how the exterior angles, while I have them drawn in green, they're different, a different set of exterior angles, but they're congruent because we have vertical angles. Okay, um, I'm going to try and do this. We'll see how this all works out. So if I have a triangle, I'm just going to draw a triangle. When I draw the diagonals, I don't have any other triangle, so I only have one triangle, and that's 1 times 180. And that's going to mean something to us in a minute. Now I have a quadrilateral. In this quadrilateral, I'm going to draw and split up my quadrilateral into a number of triangles. So I have one, two triangles, so that I can find the sum of the interior angles. Because all of these angles in these triangles I have here make up all of my angles. I have two times 180, which is 360. I now have a pentagon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the previous slide. I'm going to use this pentagon here so we can kind of see it. Give me a second to erase our diagonals. So if I'm drawing these diagonals, remember, I just want to make triangles so that all of the angles in the triangle, like this one plus this one plus this one plus that one plus that one in that triangle and that and this one and this one, and this one. They all make up all of my interior angles. I had three triangles, and I did three times 180 to get my sum of my interior angles, which is, where's my marker at, 540. Now if I have a hexagon, 
Follow the pattern. What pattern are we noticing? I'm guessing there's going to be four. I would do four times 180 to get myself to 720. And I would be probably six, five. Five times 180 is 900. Six. Six times 180. 1080. Now I skipped 9, so I have to look at the pattern. How is the number of triangles relating to my number of sides? In every single case, it's 2 less. So for 10, I would do 8. 8 times 180. to get 1440. So for an n-gon, the number of triangles that we form by our diagonals is n minus 2 to get the sum of the interior angles, 180 times n minus 2. And this, honestly, this works a little bit better in a big classroom. But our sum of our interior angles, okay? So the sum of the interior angles is this formula. Make sure you have that formula in your notes. Let's get to some examples. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a nonagon. A nonagon has nine sides. So n equals nine. My formula is n minus two times 180. So I do seven times 180 and that gets me 1260. Find each interior angle in a regular octagon. So the formula for that, I didn't give you that formula, but let's talk about it. This is the sum of all of the angles. Okay, that's the sum of all of the angles. But in a regular polygon, all the angles are congruent. So I divide by n. So I plug in 180 times 8 minus 2 over 8, each angle is going to be 135. Each, the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 150. Find the number of sides. So now I'm looking for n. I know each interior angle of a regular polygon, so I'm going to use this formula here. I'm going to multiply by n on both sides. And I'm going to distribute on the other side at the same time. I'm going to subtract the 180 over to get negative 30n equals negative 360. n is equal to 12. Now find the measure of each angle in our polygon. Okay, so now here in this case, we have a pentagon. So I have one, two, three, four, five. It's not regular. I was just doing those markings so I knew I had 180 times five minus two. And now start adding up your angles. Two X plus 142 plus another 2x, plus a 3x plus 14, plus another 3x plus 14. So that left side is equal to 540. The right side simplifies to 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10x, plus 170. Solving for x, I get 37. So now we just have to plug in. Angle H, which conveniently is equal to angle K, is 37 times 2, which is 74. Angle M, which is equal to angle L, because they're both the same measure, is 125.
And now to find the exterior angles. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles, um, one angle at each vertex, that's key. One angle at each vertex is 360. Now think about it, because the more and more sides that you add, the closer and closer this gets to be a circle, and we know a circle's degree is 360. So that's how we get that formula. Find the value of x in the diagram. So I have one vertex at each angle. So these angles has to equal 360. So simplifying all that out, combining all my x's, I get 31x. Combining all the other numbers, we get 12 is equal to 360. 31x is equal to, I add 12, we get 372. x is equal to 12. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular decagon. A decagon has 10 sides. So my regular decagon, measure of each exterior angle, there's 10 of them, they are all equal, have to add up to 360. I divide, each angle is 36 degrees. So that is my video on angles in polygons. Thank you for watching.